here at Harris Chester with uh, Andy Miller, who is a uh, top harness driver. How are you doing, Andy? Good, how are you? All right, so where are you from, man? I'm from Illinois. I grew up in the horse business. Uh, I have horses for a while and then got into the standard bread business and uh, just kind of took it from there. What's a draft horse? Uh, Belgians or Clydesdales. Uh -huh. What did you do with them? Uh, a lot of farming and uh, a little bit of showing. You got uh, family members in the business too, right? Yeah, I've got a brother that trains about 150 standard breads and uh, races all over the country. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the rest of my family is more into... Uh, uh, they, they're in the horse business but not involved in the racing. What end of the horse business are they in? A little bit of the breeding, and, uh, and they use the horses for transportation too. So, uh, what do you like about being a harness driver? Uh, it's a big thrill. It's uh, every race is thrilling, and uh, a lot of adrenaline. And there's always something different, and it's uh, you know, it's it's fun to be out there. Isn't it a big risk too? Yeah, there's very big risks. They're thousand pound animals, and uh, you know they, if. If they get out of control or something goes wrong, they're an awful big, heavy animal to stop or, or that can land on you too. So, uh, how does your wife have time for the kids with 18 horses to train? She's the trooper. She works hard. Uh, you know, she takes time out for the kids and uh, manages the horses, and you know, she does real well with it. Isn't that the case, not necessarily where the wives are trainers, but uh, in the sport, a lot of the wives are the backbone for the drivers with the yeah, travel yeah. you do and the time you spend? There's a lot of time involved in it, and you got to know what's involved in the business to, be, uh, to keep a success, successful relationship. Well, you've had a lot of successful relationships, and uh, look forward to seeing you here at Harris Chester in the future, and thanks for taking time to talk with us on SRO TV. All right, thank you. Okay.